global health, one health, eco health, planetary health. For several decades, and increasingly since the COVID crisis, scientists have been using a whole series of terms to discuss factors linking the health of all living beings. Our understanding of this issue is limited, and it might seem to be a matter for specialists, but in fact, it concerns us all. So, what does it really mean? And what purpose does it serve? Global health places a priority on improving health and achieving health equity for all people worldwide. One Health conveys the idea of a holistic approach to health and the need to consider all types of health. Revolving around the link between human and animal health, this concept has logically been promoted by veterinarians in view of people's close relationships with their pets. EcoHealth. This approach is promoted by ecologists, and this time, plant health is clearly an integral part of the concept. Ecosystems are formed by a community of living beings interacting with their environment. Today, our ecosystems are impacted by industry, urbanization, transportation, overfishing, single crop farming practices, etc. Therefore, an eco-health-based vision revolves around the idea that the degradation of ecosystems has an impact on the exposure of human populations to the viruses, pathogens, and pollutants propagated in these environments, particularly via animal communities. Planetary Health Envisaging human health and planetary health as an indissociable whole is an approach that is often adopted by public health researchers who establish a link between the degradation of ecosystems and the vulnerability of human populations while taking account of the planet's limitations. It is now known that humans are creating massive opportunities for potential disease propagation by devastating natural reservoirs and building sprawling cities, effectively rolling out the welcome mat for any poor viruses that have exhausted their supply of hosts in a given area. In short, these concepts, despite their differences in factions, are essential because they approach health from a fresh, much less anthropocentric perspective. When we consider health as part of a human, animal, plant continuum, and even on the scale of all ecosystems on Earth, in water, the air, or soils, we take a completely different approach to disease control. Examples include caring for animals and plants to prevent the transmission of diseases, reflecting on ways to regulate meat markets and intensive livestock rearing in order to prevent the spread of diseases, Preventing the degradation of natural environments, such as deforestation, which creates new opportunities for contact between humans and animals. Envisioning a borderless approach to disease prevention. In short, by developing a clearer but less anthropocentric analysis of our role, by looking all around us, and by aiming to achieve one health for all and by all. Doesn't this concern us all?